Alright, so how are we all doing boys? Hope you're doing well. Today is our first look at the new Festival Zeldris. Now, I haven't played him at all off camera, so I was trying to save all my first impressions for this video, but we are using the Keo team. I did max Super Well, originally my Green Melon wasn't even Super Awakened, but I have Super Into Awakened her for this showcase. I'm sad that I couldn't do Keo, but the whole front team's level 90 sets alright. Really excited to get into this one, but let's see how it goes. Also, I feel like I should have mentioned before we get into the video, uh, we do have most of Zeldris' costumes maxed out, so it will be a bit tankier and do a bit more damage than usual. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. A Sariel Escanor team, and we're hoping that's Green Goth and not Red Goth, because we aren't... Uh, okay, it does have, you know, some fair few units, uh, level 85 and 90, which is nice to see. Um, what do we want to do here? Um, I'm thinking we just use this. I mean, uh, these cards do kind of have the same effect. Um... We use the just one, it's basically just a buffed version of the <clears throat> the pumpkin bombs. And we'll just go with this and rank up into Keo. So kind of just doing with this team I'd imagine is we are gonna stall out, you know, get as many debuffs for Keo and then kind of just send it all off. Zeldris and Goth are just kinda of like supporting their way through it. It's always fun to use Goth. I mean, it's always fun to use Keo on matches, so having Zeldris here to let us use him is always great. Um, let's see what he's gonna do here. See so yeah, throwing out the pumpkin bombs. Um, oh, uh, yeah. See, I was thinking we are going to see too many Eskimos, but... Oh, Keo's still alive. It doesn't matter. We're all good. Um, okay. That is a lot of Ignite. I could imagine if we just do this, that'll be good by the Eskimo, so... Let's see what we can do here. And also, I feel like I should say, I have got my Zeldris on the attack rate damage set, so... Ooh. Full health, Keo. Ooh. Damn, he's hitting so much harder than I thought he would. Okay. I mean, hmm. Maybe we can just keep running him attack crit. Might be useful. I mean, if he doesn't have shield here, he's basically done for. Um, I mean, it would be annoying if you kind of just, you know, blast it out here this turn, but... I don't think a Sariel single target has the damage capacity to... Oh, no, okay. He definitely could have single target and killed me. I mean, with that being done, uh, I feel like we can just kind of throw these bronze cards off and that'll kill two side units. Goddess Liz can't really do much by herself. Oh, actually I did. Oh, never mind. That's all right. We fucked a vibe on Gothel. There we go. First match done. Okay, so first match was a major success and ooh, fairly low CC, but it should be all right. Um, let's see what we get here. Same turn as last time. Um, I mean, it is kind of a waste using both the cards at the same time, but hmm, I really just can't think of anything else to do. We want to hold on to the KO ones, and I really want to kind of do like a three-star single attack with Zeldris and see how much damage we can pump out. There we go. Ooh, never mind. Don't even have to use the rank up. Ask and you shall receive. And, I mean, I'm sure if you guys have seen the summons video, we did get Zeldris 6-6, so huge damage from your result. I actually don't even know if he's ult single target or AOE, but it does look sick, that's for sure. Not even gonna be able to do the ult anyway because we got pumpkin bombed. Um, okay. <clears throat> what do I want to do here? I mean, break the shield with this, throw a single target, try and get some life steal back, and throw out the soldier's card. I mean, isn't gonna life steal a whole lot, but I mean, having like an extra hit in him could, like, you know, mean the match, so. Yeah, look at that. Wow. 300,000. Like, most people use him HP for, like, I'm sure later on, like, if I get, like, you know, if you're doing super stressful matches and, like, extremely high CC and whatnot, it would be better to have him HP. Like, he's not a DPS unit, but, I mean, right here, it's perfectly fine having him attack and crit damage. There we go. He is stunning Gotha. Um, I mean, perfect time to show off this card, so I believe it seals them from using ultimates. Um, yeah, strict use of ultimate moves, so throw that out and... Hmm. I think we'll just do that for the moment. Probably should have merged the Gotha cards, but that's alright. That does go... Th yeah, okay, sweet. So it does go through shields. Completely fine here. Um, let's see what he's going to do. Have two alts as well, so... Let's quickly have a look. Um, On one enemy, yeah. So it is single target, but that's alright. Because we've already proc revived, so we can pick and choose who we want to kill. And decrease all enemies' HP. Okay, that's pretty helpful as well. Never mind, we're stunned. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, let's think, um, 
I think we'll move this instead. That way we can rush Gertha's ultimate, but get Elizabeth out of the way and we will rank up everything. That's obviously going to one-tap, yeah. With that many Ignats, he's going to do stupid damage. Damn, okay, so please... Ah, oh, never mind. Hmm. I'd like a couple Ignats on the Escanol to see how much damage we can hit, but... I mean, you can't crit regardless, so... I mean, basically the crit damage is always applied if you look at his passive, but... You know. A couple Ignats would ramp up that damage quite a bit. Hmm. Yeah, one tapping Kia there. No, it doesn't even matter about the Ignites. Okay, so, um... What do you want to do here? I guess we go one... Two and three, so yeah. I mean, like I said before, it doesn't really matter that he's on attack crit damage at the moment, but... Damn, look at that animation. 250,000, not bad, not bad. And I can imagine this will probably do more. Oh no, definitely not. Damn, okay. Oh well. Another victory. Here we go. I mean, with our luck today, yeah. I feel like we're only going to face, like, DPS Eskinol teams, but... That's right, if we keep going first, we should be able to, you know, at least get one turn of the... Ooh. Actually. You know what? Who cares about the Eskinol? Let's just completely wipe him. Um... No, you know Who cares? Let's just throw out another Zelda's card. I mean... I could imagine this will, you know, one-tap. No Gotha passive built up or anything. No Ignite's built up, but yeah. Who cares about Eskinol? Get him out of here. And then who's going to go for next? Gotha as well. Ooh, not bad either. Damn, watch him have Gratis Liz. Yeah, ugh. Oh well, at least we can get those Ignites starting to build up on her. <clears throat> I mean, this card here, I mean, what is it? Um, Disables ults for one turn. I could imagine at three star that'll be two turns, which is so extremely helpful. I mean, you know, it was only just like now that I've 6-6 six, six green draw and like really considering using him on some teams. Greatest part is I can use him in association now because his association effect is that, you know, he gives our uh, HP and it's quite a bit. Um, let's just go for this. I mean, get a run low that way when they revive. Don't have to deal with much more. Ooh, never mind. Propped it straight away. Oh, damn. Kyo's just too powerful. Let's get onto it. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining if Kyo becomes meta again, but there are a few more teams I'd like to try out. Like the one we're versing. Um... Blue Troll, Green Troll, I might try out both of them, but... Hmm, I mean... If he does have a Vade Fruit on here, that would be extremely annoying, but... You know, I'm just gonna bet it all on him not having a Vade Fruit. Definitely should've used the Keo card first, but... Oh, look at that. Just out of here. This man's just wiping units. Oh my god. There we go. Esteros in the back as well. Okay. So he still has, you know, two threats on the field. I mean, it rolls 6-6 six, six as well. It's definitely something to worry about. And we don't really have to worry about his Zeldris rushing ult either, because we do have this card as well on our team. Like, has no blue units either to, you know, try and kill Kyo. So if you guys don't know what Kyo's passive is, I mean, I'd imagine you do. Um, the more Ignites gets, the more, like, defense or is it... The less damage he takes when he gets hit from the units, so... Which is extremely good, and he's... He's not using... The taunt. Okay, um... He's dead, I guess? I mean... God damn, even on one stars are doing so much damage. Damn. I mean, we're just going through these matches so fast. Okay, so I am thinking this... Yeah. Okay, well. Just full Escort teams for today's video, and we are getting out CC too, so... Um, like I was gonna say, I'm thinking about making this the final match of the video, but... Hey, if Kyo doesn't die first turn here, which... I doubt, but um, hopefully he goes for Pumpkin Mom, seeing that I got a merger on Zardris and such. Will he? No, so he's going to kill Kyo, which is a shame, but I mean... Oh, damn. Okay, Kyo taking two hits is a massive lifesaver here. Damn, that helps out so much. Um, If we're lucky, maybe we could get... You see, I don't want to get a merge into the Zardris single target, but... Yeah, that's alright. Um... I'm thinking we just completely wipe his Eskinor off the face of the earth, but at the same time, that Sariel is still a massive problem. Um, just hoping the soldiers can kill, so this is our actual first threat of the video, but... Yeah, damn, Eskinor's still getting taken out in two hits, I mean... Look at that. I mean, the, the Pumpkin Bombs definitely would have killed him, so... Still glad we used that single target here, and... Please don't be Goddess Liz. Oh, Death Piss. Okay, that's completely fine. Um... <clears throat> 
And if he doesn't kill Zeldris in this turn, he's lost. It's, it's as simple as that. I think he's just going for another rank up. Double, like, damage card. Damn, he's emoting me up. Guessing he's got the win by that. Oh, god damn. Okay, yeah, never mind. Um. Damn. I mean, we'll do one more match. I don't want to finish the video on that note. Here we go, final match, attempt two, and yeah. We are just seeing full Espinal teams, and this guy is even stronger. Um, okay. And we didn't get good draw on the Zeldris either. Um, I mean, yeah, I can always guarantee this will be a loss, but mm, we can we can still go through it. We still have a chance. Um, that's what he's going to do here. I mean, as long as we can kind of survive to get, you know, the Kyo passive built up, we're fine. But obviously with the one existing, that doesn't happen also. Great job for Kyo for not getting one-tapped. <laughs> yeah, he's just dead again. Um, they need some good luck on the Zeldris cards to try and kill this Eskinal, but I doubt that'll happen. Oh, wait. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I was hoping we could have, you know, just a two-star on the one-star, but... Um... Hmm. I think this is our best bet at trying to kill here. Yeah. Gosh, that's a bummer. Um, that is alright, I mean... Hopefully he didn't just draw a bunch of Eskinal cards and can just kill us again, but... If he taunts, I mean, I'm fully glad to just take out the draw in one hit. And if that happens, you know... It looks like we have enough damage potential to actually take out the Eskinal as well. Ugh. I mean, at least I'll just isn't getting crit. That's helping out a lot. Come on, surely he didn't draw another Eskinal card. Okay, I can I can take that for a moment. Um, hmm. Yeah, not looking too fancy for us. Um, let's just wrap it up. Okay, so that just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed our first look at the Zeldris, the new festival Zeldris. Um, we'll be trying them out in heaps of more teams, but uh. Yeah, stay tuned, hit that like button and subscribe, it means the world to me, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.